What's up, people? So I am going to do my soapbox tonight. Um, it's so weird because, you know, when I go on my live tonight, which is, this is super weird. So I go on my live tonight and I hit the little live button and usually it tells you like how many people are live. And it says like 4,500 people. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. I don't even have that many friends. Well, because I usually only accept people that I actually know on my Facebook because it is my personal page. So it's kind of weird. So I wonder how many people are actually going to get to see this live tonight. That should be interesting. Um, so anyways, I've got some big news to share with everybody. So I'll wait till a couple people come on here so that I don't have to repeat myself 500 times as to what kind of big news I have to share about what's been going on with me and John and Titan. And we actually were able to lock something in the last like week has been really, really, let me not take, let me take that back. Rewind. Skrr. All right. The last like couple months have been a little crazy for us um, because we've been trying to lock something in. So I got to start it here. I'm going to start it like down here and then work my way up to like what's all this, all this awesome stuff that's going to happen, you know? So anyways, where do I start? So let's start with those of you that don't know me. First of all, my hair is like super blonde. It looks good. Let me just point that out. Okay. All right. I'm glad I got that out of the way. I had to get that out of the way. What's up, guys? I haven't talked to you guys in a hot minute. Look at all my peoples on here. All right. So listen, check it out. So those of you that don't know me very well, okay, I come from a household of like your nine to fivers, right? My mom was a nine to five. She came home. She cooked. She put us to bed. That was it. My dad, on the other hand, he worked like three jobs just to keep the bills going. And still, even with the three jobs and my mom working her job, we still struggled. Like, they, I mean, struggle as in like paycheck to paycheck. You know, they didn't have money, like, like just money to spend on whatever. You know, like to go to Red Lobster for dinner was like a, like a treat in like Never Never Land. Or maybe like Long John Silver's for dinner. That was like a big deal too, you know. I know it sounds like kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is, man. Like I didn't grow up with money, period, you know? And I was, I was taught as a kid, you know, like, hey, listen, go to school, get some education because education nobody can take from you. That's what my mom used to tell me, that, you know, a man can never take education from you, whatever. Um, anyway, so a man can't take any education from you, but go get your education, go to school, do your thing, get your nine to five, make sure you're able to put a roof over your head, put, you know, a, a decent car in the driveway. They can get you from point A to point B and call it a day, right? So anyways, you know, I meet John. He has his entrepreneurial background. And, you know, we open up Titan Medical Center and we call it a day. All right, cool. Seven years later, we're still heavily involved in the business. I have no, no, no complaints about that whatsoever. I like being involved, honestly. Um, I may not get to everything I want to do every day <laughs> because there's so much involvement that I have because talking to patients and just, you know, like answering the phone or the text messages or, you know, monitoring the girls, that's not the only things that I need to do. I have like a bazillion things on my plate to do, right? So anyways, we've got the big news that I do want to share with everybody, okay? So in this seven years, you know, we, for those of you that don't know how we started Titan Medical Center, some of you do and some of you don't, but I'll be happy to share with you how we started Titan Medical Center, okay? So we started Titan Medical Center with 2,000 bucks, right? And $2,000 was our last task, like our tax return check. And we had to decide that if this was going to be like the right the right move for us, right? Because our last money, we literally didn't have any other money. I know John probably doesn't want me to tell the whole world that we didn't have money, like, you know, whatever it was eight years ago, but we didn't have money, okay? We were in a bad situation and we had a baby, okay? A baby, a little tiny baby that was hungry and needed diapers and, you know, he doesn't give a shit, <laughs> you know what? And I stopped breastfeeding because I felt like a human cow. Hey, what up, Drew? So anyways, I was done with the breastfeeding. I wasn't down with that. I was, I was done. Okay. So anyways, we had our last $2,000 tax return check. We decided, all right, let's do this. Screw it. You know, what's the worst that can happen? You know, I was, I, I was out of a job at the time because I got in a bad car accident. Okay. I had my arm in a sling and my brace in a mouth. Cause you know, I had a dislocation in my jaw walking around with John. So boom, 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 put the $2,000 towards that work, all the events ourselves 
build it from the bottom. We shook all the hands. We kissed all the babies. Okay. We made it happen. Okay. It, I didn't care if I had to slit my wrist till the day. Till, I didn't care how many scars it took, but we were going to make this baby exceed. Like we were going to make it happen. And you know what? Our parents, and I'm not going to lie here. Our parents and a lot of our friends gave us the fuel to do it. And the reason they gave us the fuel to do it was because they told us that we couldn't do it or they told us we were crazy and that we wouldn't be able to make it or, you know, they just told us that we weren't going to be able to do it. We were absolutely insane. Okay. What are you guys thinking? You guys going to go open up some medical center? I mean, what, what are you guys crazy? So here we are, you know, we turned into a multi-million dollar business in under three years. Me and John are still heavily involved in the day to day operations. I love what I do. Okay. And we finally have decided to make a big move. So anyways, today we decided to make a big decision and we decided to sign on some papers that we have finally <laughs> we've been working on for a little while now. This is the big news I was talking about. I can't tell you everything. I'm just going to tell you this small, tiny little piece. Okay. But we did get to sign on the papers today with a $2 million building in downtown Tampa that, um, oh, I want to say channel side. I don't even want to say downtown Tampa. I want to say channel side. Um, and we're going to turn it into a secret place. <laughs> I don't want to name, I don't even want to say what we're going to turn it into, but the fact that we even made it this far in this like journey of ours is just, it's, it's absolutely insane. I mean, it's almost like it's, it's like, uh, it, it brings tears to my eyes almost, you know? to have come from like where we come from, even before I met John, where I come from, to come to the point where we're at today, it's like, it's crazy, you know? And I can't imagine, you know, just uh, going backwards sometimes, me and John just sit there like, damn, did we really just, did we just do this? Like, this is, this is badass, you know? And, you know, we're still super down to earth. We are still like, you know, still humble and we, you know, care about every single person that comes in the door and it, it, they are not a number. They never have been. Maybe that's what made us different up to date. And, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's never been about the money. Money was a byproduct of just giving a shit <laughs> and, um, you know, just ha having good customer service and trying to do right by people and just trying to be good people, you know, just, and we built something, something, we built something more precious than just a medical center. We built a brand, okay? And not only did we build a brand, but in this process of building a brand, we somehow managed to build like this family, you know? And this family is like our Titan family. We call it our Titan family. Our Titan family consists of, you know, patients, AKA people on here. Um, Jackie's on here. What up, Jackie? Hi, Tommy. You know, not just that, but like our, our, our friends and family, obviously our athletes, the people that have supported us, you know, throughout the years, even some of the people, you know, and uh, listen, one thing I will say is I never forget anything. Okay. It just stays up here forever. All right. Can you redeem yourself? Sure. Why not? Well, not all the time, okay? Sometimes you just cross that line. I'm that person when you cross that line of the, the the never, ever, ever coming back from line. I am that person. You're never coming back. Like this is the side of the fence you're on and you're on that side and you're on that side forever. There's never coming back to Sharice land, okay? But that's me, okay? John is a little bit different. He's a little nicer. Thank goodness. This is why we balance each other out so well, but, you know, the fact that we actually signed on this, on these papers today for this, you know, really big deal and, uh, the, the, um, the business that we're going to plan on putting down there, you know, in this, this area, for those of you that are not from Tampa and you're not familiar with the area, um, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool because this is the area that's really building up. They're building a bunch of condos in the area. And I mean, this area is going to be amazing. 
So at this new facility, there's going to be a lot of different things that we're going to offer at Titan Medical that we have not been able to offer up to date. And it's going to, it's just, it's so crazy. And thank you guys so much for the congratulations. I'm like, I'm still kind of in the shock mode. And the reason I'm in the shock mode is because, you know, John told me the news today. I want to say what I'm looking at the clock right now. I want to say it was like maybe around three o'clock, two o'clock one o'clock, somewhere around there. So anyways, my entire day just kind of mushes into one and on Monday, you know? And, uh, yeah, it's just, I'm just like, yeah, sure. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. This is going to be great. Yeah. As I'm trying to deal with like 80 text messages and like 40 emails and like, you know, my eight girls plus my two new girls, I'm like, listen, I can't even think about like creating a whole nother facility right now downtown. <laughs> So I'm like, start freaking out. I'm like, I can't even think about it. This right now. I don't want to think about it. Just don't want to talk about it right now. Eh, don't want to talk about it. Go away. <laughs> so yes, I did want to at least share this with you because I'm super excited. I never thought we'd make it this far. And you know what, guys? Well, shit, we made it this far. Those of you that didn't think we were going to make it this far. Well, you know, shit, we made it this far. So anyways, in this exponential growth that we are about to take and this big step we're going to take and all these awesome things that we're going to offer at this new facility. We are going to need to hire more people. Um, and we are going to need to hire, I'm going to list them off right now. So that way you guys, if you do know somebody, please start sending them my way because I am super picky and I'm not going to just pick the first people that come to me. I'm going to make sure that it's going to work. So nurse practitioners, medical assistants, receptionists, more medical assistants, doctors, DOs, MDs, I need some more medical staff. So it's going to be fun though. I'm excited. I always like doing new stuff. I just don't know about doing new stuff on top of the rest of the shit that I have to do. Those of you that know, I have no time on the planet for anything. I, I do use this scenario very often. I probably shouldn't, but I'll say it on my live because it's my live and I don't care. Um, and if you don't like it, then don't watch it. But <laughs> I was telling everybody, I'm like, yeah, I barely have time to wipe my ass. And it's because I literally, I go to the bathroom like once a day when I get to pee and run to the bathroom real quick. And, and in the bathroom, I still have my freaking phone and I'm checking like text messages that are coming through about people's orders or if they need something or whatever. It's absolutely insane, guys. I don't even know how I do it sometimes. I really don't. You know, that's why it kills me. It kills me to be down. Like, I don't like being sick. I don't like being down from my endo. Sometimes my endo kicks my ass. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'll get up and I'm like, dude, I don't even want to get out of bed right now. But at the end of the day, nobody's going to do my job for me. So I have to get up and do it. So that's the drive that's going to make you successful. I don't care what you do with your life. Okay. You don't have to own a business. All right. You can be a normal, regular person working a nine to five, or you could be an RN. You could be a nurse. You could be a doctor. You could be an accountant. You can be an attorney. You can be whatever you want to be. Okay. But at the end of the day, you got to have the drive to go do what you want to do with your life. You can't be lazy. Now, there are a lot of lazy people out there, like a lot, like a lot, like a whole lot of lazy people out there. <laughs> it's like, huh, I don't know. You know, I sat back the other day. I had to go get my nails done considering that this one was like, ew. So anyways, I went and got my nails done and I'm trying to talk to this dude that does my nails. Yeah, he's a dude, but he's super awesome dude. Okay. And, um, you know, I'm telling them, I'm like, man, we are like doomed. Like our society is doomed. It, they were just, we're screwed. I have actually, I even watched a documentary the other day about like, you know, when they came out with the phones and these other like social media platforms or whatever, like every year that goes by, we get stupider because we're not interacting with people or we're just like stuck on these devices. Right. But in all actuality, I mean, Society is lazy. I mean, think about it, guys. All right, seriously, let's think about like the, the bigger picture here, right? You have Uber Eats, which I am a huge fan. Uber Eats, man, I am your best fan ever. I order from you like 16 times a day. I am probably your best customer. You have Instacart. They go shopping for you and do all your stuff, right? It's just everything's getting automated. Like, and it's just going to get even more automated. So everything is just going to become 
super, super easy for everybody. And just, you know, everybody should be lazy as hell. Super lazy. Super lazy. So I'll make sure that I keep all of those people out of my office because I don't have any patience for people that are lazy. I also don't have any patience for people that are stupid. I'm just being honest. I am not being mean. So do not even label me as a mean person. You have not seen the mean side of me. Does it reside deep inside? Yes, it does. There is a very mean Charisse deep sound, like not even that deep. It's kind of not, it's, it's kind of right here, okay? But I'm not being mean, I'm just being real. <laughs> but seriously, guys, I, I really, I have zero patience for stupidity and laziness and negligence, okay? So, um, but yeah, maybe that's what's made us successful up to the state, you know, just kicking ass, taking names. So anyways, I had to come on here and share our good news because I know I've been talking about it, talking about it. I've only given you a little tiny piece of it. This little tiny, tiny piece, just, just this time. But I promise I will come on here and I will tell you guys about the rest of the news because it's a big deal. We are going to be implementing a lot of different things in this one facility. And there's going to be like, I don't know. It's just, it's, there's a lot to explain. I couldn't even explain it in one like session if I tried. I really couldn't. I, w I wouldn't know how. So, but John did say that I can tell everybody. So I could be the one to tell everybody that we signed the papers today. And what that means, boom, it's on. So I do want to take a second on this video to thank all the people that have supported us up to date. I want to thank every single one of you guys because I do feel like we wouldn't be where we're at today without the support of our patients, without the support of our family, and without the support of our friends. Now, we may not have gotten all of that support in the beginning, but we do have that support now. And I can't, you know, can't knock it. I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm, we're blessed. Like, we're super blessed. I wake up every day like, how did we get so blessed? I mean, me and John are lucky enough to be blessed to work with each other every day and not kill each other. We've been married for like 11 years. Who else do you know is married 11 years, hangs out on the weekends, hangs out at night and in the morning, all day, every day, and doesn't kill each other? Not many. <laughs> so I couldn't do it without you guys. I know he couldn't do it without you guys. And so, you know, it's... Uh, it's awesome, and I'm super excited to share all the good news and all the big things with you guys. Um, and uh, we'll probably be moving from our current location into this other location. So um, I'm excited about it, guys. We've got a lot of big things coming up. What up, Matt? Josh? <sighs> it's going to be super stressful. So let me go ahead and just put this, um, this, this, this announcement out there, like a public service announcement. You know, like how I'm always so stressed out and, you know, I already tell you guys like, hey, I'm stressed out. You know, like if I don't text you back for a couple of days, it's because of this. Hey, I'm stressed out. If, it's, if I don't want to go anywhere and hang out with you guys, it's because of this because I want to sleep. Like I actually did spend the entire weekend. Half of the weekend was spent with my kid and the other half was spent with my pillow and my husband. It's just, gosh, it was so amazing. I mean, that pillow and that blanket, I couldn't ask for a better pillow and blanket. And then John, he's like a huge teddy bear. I know. He's this huge, anabolic, testosterone-filled, Greek, sexy teddy bear. <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to kill me for saying that. What up, Rodzilla? I was just saying we signed our papers today on the building. So we got a little $2 million building going for us in channel side. And I can't wait to invite all of you guys to it. So we are going to go, we're going to set it all up the way we need to have it set up. And then I'm going to have all of you guys come down there and see all the awesome services we're going to offer and then just rock it out. You know, that's just the beginning of a very, very big phase that we're starting that I'm not going to tell any of you because then everybody will try to copy what we do because that's just what happens. You know, it's like I keep it on the down low. Anyways, it's been a long day for me and I need to get my beauty sleep. I mean, there's only so much that lashes and hair and this, you know, tan can do for you. Got to get some sleep or I'll be a mean person tomorrow. Mean. So anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. And thank you guys for tuning in. I couldn't, you know, complain about too many things tonight because today was a big ass day. 
sign in a way. So let's just pray. I just, I'm a, I, I never count my chickens before they hatch. Knock on wood that we rock this out. Okay. So I'll make sure I keep you guys posted as to what's going to be going on and <sighs> wish us good luck on the next Titan venture with John Sharice. We're going to kill it. I'll see you guys soon.